Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot with just a few sleeps to go before Christmas. Now, one company that Time Magazine's Person of the Year, Greta Thunberg, would really approve of is Symphony Environmental Technologies. Now, years ago, this company predicted that biodegradable, clinically fresh packaging would be the way forward. They were one of the first antimicrobial plastic companies on the market. However, shareholders didn't like the statement made this week. The forecast that annual revenue will be below market expectations. Revenue for the second half is expected to be the same as the first. Well, in the past five weeks, ex-member of the European Parliament and the company's chairman, Nirsh Deva, stepped down, but he remains as commercial ambassador for the company. Well, post-election fatigue has set in for Taylor Wimpy, Persimmon, Barclay Group and Barrett Developments. Alliance news writer Arvind Banjan says the house builders are giving back some of their UK general election inspired gains. There's heightened concern about a possible no deal Brexit with Boris Johnson appearing set to outlaw any extension to a Brexit transition before the end of the year. Well, there's a nice blog on the lsc.co.uk website from professional blogger Rajan Dal. Nice bit of technical analysis and clever commentary on aforementioned house builders and banks. Now, muddy waters certainly does get some companies into a bit of bother. Not this muddy waters. McKinley Morgan Field, the American blues singer, songwriter and musician, often credited as being the father of modern Chicago blues. But this one, Muddy Waters Research, the short seller. Now it had a pop at Burford Capital and that stock lost $2 billion from its market cap. And now NMC Healthcare is coming under the spotlight with Muddy Waters saying it has serious doubts about the company's financial state statements, including its asset values, cash balance, reported profits and reported debt levels. Now I'm ending this week's What's Hot on the way I started. Companies involved in sustainability. And by the end of this week, probably Friday, we will have heard from Benchmark Holdings. Now the executive chairman, Peter George, is the ex-chief executive of Clinigen, which he helped build into a billion pound market cap, although admittedly it's not that now. Well, he's got the reins of the company following founder Malcolm Pye's decision to step down as chief executive at the start of December. However, Benchmark is involved with aquaculture solutions such as salmon eggs with superior genetic traits, specialist nutrition products for shrimp and fish, and health treatments, including a sea lice treatment for salmon. Well, 25% of the company is owned by a Norwegian family-owned investment company. Well, I have no idea who this well-nourished individual is, but it certainly works for me, and I hope that this week's What's Hot has worked for you too. I'll be back. Christmas Eve with a slightly different what's hot. Until then, be well, get the wrapping done early. See you next week.